You want to tell them hi? Greetings, YouTube. It's just a follow-up video today. It is Sunday. It's about about five. Uh, looks like about twenty till five uh, in the afternoon. I've been working on my GMC thirty-five hundred. As you can see, it's thirty-five hundred. And I want to show you guys something. Most of you rear-wheel drive cars out there, guys. Um, it'll feel like you hit a bump. It feels like your front end's about to fall out. Okay, and it feels like a bad shock. I'm being invaded here by chickens. I got a chicken invasion going on. I'm making me some wings tonight. Yeah, I'm making me some chicken wings tonight. You guys coming over? You guys coming over? So, um, anyway, guys, my front end, I, I thought it was a shock. As you can see, I replaced that shock right there. And I didn't think about it, guys. I didn't, I, I didn't think to look at my stabilizing uh, link and my stabilizing bar. And what happened was I, I did, I pulled my front wheels off because I was checking my brakes because I, I heard a metal to metal. The back was, the back uh, passenger side was metal to metal. And guys, you'll I hit a brake or I hit bumps with this in your front end. You can hear it clanging like blah, 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 blah. It, it feels like your front end's about to fall out sometimes. Well, guys, if if that happens, check and see if you got stabilizing links. Most of your rear front wheel drive, or I'm sorry, most of your rear wheel drive cars has stabilizing links. My one Nissan Xterra, it's got stabilizing links in the front and in the back. Okay. And what happens is, guys, over time, these bolts, they just rot, and they just break loose. Well, I checked this side over here, and as you can see, that's the side where I replaced, because it felt like it was coming from this side over here. So I replaced that shock right there, right? And I didn't think nothing about it. The stabilizing link was good over here. I didn't even think about checking the bushings, so I replaced that shock. Well, lo and behold, you know, now I'm doing a break, so I popped them off. I'm looking, and this side's fine. Well, I go to the other side, and the other side, the, the thing done rotted off. And these bushings, they what they do, guys, they, they get hard, and they just get brittle. Hear that? That's rubber, and it sounds like a rock. So that's what happened, guys. These bushings go bad, and then when they go bad, your stabilizing links, they, if they're rusted up, they'll, they'll just snap off, guys. And it feels like your shocks are bad, and it feels like your front end's about to fall out. When that's all it is, your stabilizing links. These stabilizing links, guys, they're, I think they're like, I don't know, five, five, ten bucks a piece. Pretty much all it is is a bolt, guys, with a spacer and four rubber bushings with four rubber, uh, or four washers. So that's all it is, guys. And, uh, you know what, guys? If you go to carsparts.com, uh, which I haven't been on carsparts.com. I've been to Rock Auto and checked out their stuff. And uh, they, the rotors for this thing it was anywhere from eighty five to hundred bucks. But if I went on Rock Auto, they're like forty bucks. But I wanted it today. I didn't want to wait two three days for them to ship it. So I just you know what I paid a hundred bucks. But I know the next time I got to do brakes or whatever ahead of time, I'm just going to go ahead and just order it from them. So, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. In case you guys ever feel like your front end is about to fall out. Because even my, my Camaro it, my Camaro has a stabilizing link. And most of your most of your GM cars have stabilizing bars. Uh, I don't know if Ford has them or not. I, I, I'm not under Ford's too, too much. But, um, so yeah, guys, if you ever hit a bump and if it, you can hear your front end go, bloop, 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 and it's like, man, I must have a broken shock. Check your stabilizing links first. Before you start buying shocks, guys. The shocks are not cheap. Uh, sh well, the shock for this side was like 65 bucks, But with everything going on, it might <laughs> they might be 165 bucks now. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know. So, because things are just going up, guys. And things are going to get crazier and crazier and crazier. Stuff, little stuff, you know, like, like the plywood that I, I used to build my chicken coop out there. Or the plywood most people use to put on roofs and stuff. Uh, when they go to replace roofs, normally like six, seven dollars. Now it's back up to forty some dollars, forty-five dollars. I think it is now. 
which is crazy, but it's coming out of Canada and what all the stuff going on in Canada, it's going to be harder and harder. It, I wouldn't doubt if it don't go to $140 here in the next month. I don't know how much supply they got here in the United States. So, well, guys, that's all I wanted to talk to you about. Let you know is, you know, check your stabilizing links first before you start replacing shocks. Because the, the stabilizer links with the bolts and, the, and uh, the bushings, you know, it's like 20, 25 bucks for all of it. Or you can go to cars.com or carparts.com, which I haven't been to yet, or rock out on it. They might be a lot cheaper there. So, well, guys, stay tuned for the next video. Like, share, subscribe, subscribe this to or, or share this to your social media. Comment down below. And uh, until the next time, guys, y'all hang in there and I'll wait for the next video. Till the next time, guys, bye-bye.